Hello and what is up guys, Ra here and welcome to some Gear City. For those of you guys who don't know what Gear City is, it's a car company tycoon game like automation except it's more focused on the tycoon parts than the car design, but there is still car design. Anyways, uh, we're back with my company Maven Motors. We've got one supercar in production right now, the Harriet Champion. So our company, we've got, if we go to here, we can see, we've got three different companies, we've got three brands. we got the Maven brand, which is like, you know, equivalent to Ford or Chevrolet. We have got the Blackwood brand, which is equivalent to Cadillac or Lincoln. And we've got the Harry brand, which is like a, a very luxurious, very expensive sports car company uh, that's also um, American or Canadian in this case. Uh, and they make mostly like high performance sports cars, supercars, etc. So, so we can see all of our cars uh, in another sort of menu. We can see the cars in production, which is the Champion S. Okay, so our fastest car currently is the champions uh, we're, we're making a 727 horsepower 7.2 liter v8 rear wheel drive manual car called the champions s 3.3 seconds to 60 which is pretty crazy or 200 actually to 60 yeah to 60 it does 230 miles an hour but it weighs only 1800 pounds which is hilarious and i i love this car let's actually just go modify real quick so this is it this is what the champions s looks like it's bright blue it's crazy it's very, very insane. Only 1,700 pounds, which is obscene. Today, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and we'll continue working on our brands. So we've got the Blackwood cars came on 72. The Maven came on 67. So we get, we're going to revamp the Maven lineup, I think, today. Um, and just continue on. I, I know. So what we got to do is go to the R&D department. We're going to have to go ahead and modify. So let's go ahead and just delete. Okay. This engine from 1957 is still being used. It's still being used in the Micro, which is our my, my subcompact car. This engine was designed in 1957, which is totally fine. Um, I think we'll sim one year. All right, sales are good. We're selling 10,000 Turismos, which is crazy. Um, and we're selling lots of Blackwoods. Maven is doing like kind of not that great. Uh, revenues are hitting tippity top of about $1 billion a month. And we currently are the pretty much the second largest car manufacturer around the largest at this point in time 1943 you were quite big but yeah we are about one of the largest car manufacturers of the time or of this current time um let's check a couple other stats real quick so right now we sell 87 percent of all supercars are by my company which is hilarious um 44 percent of all sports cars which is quite which is obviously insane uh 15 percent of pickup trucks and then we have some this is actually really competitive markets so we're not doing well in subcompacts or compacts, which is fine, um, but we're doing very well in everything else. We've got two different trucks, the Mayhem and the Phaeton. Let's try to cut it down to one truck. Uh, we'll leave the Phaeton name only. They both use the same four-wheel drive chassis. So let's do the Phaeton using the new 4x4 chassis. Let's give it, what, a 3-liter? No, wait. EcoSport goes up to a 4-liter V8. Okay, so we, we've downsized our V8s because the fuel crisis, I think, is what we did. So let's go. Um, we want three engines only. Let's go for a 3, a 3.3, and a 4-liter. So a 3 point, that's a lot of power, actually. My gosh. So let's give it headlights. What is, like, a 70s to 80s headlights? I think we'll give it these headlights, actually. And there we go. Nice, simple. I'm not going to give it hood lines because I don't want to. This is going to be, what... Late 70s, dash 80s, mid size truck. There we go. There we go. I think this thing actually looks pretty cool. Now this is so, I think we're going to get rid of the Maven Mayhem and the Thayden, and we need a new truck name. Now let me know in the comments down below what maybe a better truck name would be. But but for now, uh, we'll, we'll come up with a name just, just on our own because that's what you do, I guess. The Rebel is kind of a truck name. Because th this thing looks more like, you know, it's the 80s, you know, I think, or it's coming to the 80s. We got to have some sort of cool name. It's called the Maven Rebel. The Maven Rebel. I know Rebel is like the Ram Rebel, but like, we're calling our truck the Maven Rebel. And that's fine. Okay, the Maven Rebel. So that we got the Maximus, which is that. We got the Crusada, the Maxi, and we got the Super Sport and the MSR. So we're gonna make a new sports car. It's, you know, it's mostly sporty. It's the 80s. It's looking pretty quirky. This is now late 70s, early 80s sports car. And there we go. So that, this one's called the MSR. We're going to call this, like, like what's, like, a cool sports car name? Like, the Pro... Like, what about, like, Proto? Like, if there's... Proto sounds kind of futuristic. It's like, you know, it's, it's reaching into the future. The Proto. The Maven Proto. There we go. That's our sporty car name. Okay. 
I think for this car, I do like this car actually. Like, I actually have this car made. Like an 80s car. It's kind of bland. Let's go to this car actually. Let's modify headlights. Let's just do a nip and tuck. This car's gonna get a nip and tuck. Different headlights, different taillights. It's our compact car, but it's also like a hatchback. Okay. There we go. This is a facelift. Facelift hatch. There we go. That thing's looking kind of sporty. It's looking definitely a bit more modern. It's still definitely an old body, but that's okay. This is for the lower class. Thank goodness it's for the lower class. This is the Maxi. I don't like the name Maxis. We got the Micro, we got the Maxi. And the, the, the Crisada is our sedan. We've got the Maxi, the Micro. Micro is like, I don't know. I don't like the naming scheme very well. I, I, I've never really liked the naming scheme, to be honest. The Photon. The Maven Photon. That's cool. I like that. We got the Proto, we got the Photon. And there we go. That's better than nothing. All right. So we got the Maximus now in. That's for the lower middle. Maybe we should make it for the middle class, actually. But, yeah, it's fine. All right, so we've won the best supercar in the world. The champion. Obviously, it's called the champion, so, you know, what's new there? Uh, we're selling pretty good cars. We're selling, what, like, over a million cars a year? Let's double check, actually. So, let's go last year. Last year, we sold, actually, just about 2 million cars with revenues of 15 billion. So, we are the most... We had a highest revenue of any car company. We did have a loss, though, of half a billion, and we are losing money. It looks like it's mostly due to... Okay, bond payment was a big chunk there last month. Okay, it looks like we're, we're in the black, pretty much, if we disclude R&D taxes and bond payments, which are not consistent things that would take our money. We do have a $2.5 billion bond coming true in about 10 years. We got a pension fund. I think things are... They were getting rocky last time I checked. I think that's what was happening. Uh, and... With a bit of financial management, a bit of proper management, we'll pull out of there fine. We'll, we'll get out of here fine. We are doing okay stock-wise. Do we hold any company shares? No, we do not own any other companies. We could probably try to acquire another company or merge. Our company is worth $30 billion, so we are worth more than, like, what, than Cadillac. Cadillac actually has two brands, Farkle and Cadillac. Um, Clytus Ford. English Leyland. We don't want to acquire English Leyland, to be honest. I kind of want a Asian company. A company based out of Japan or China. Just because... Uh, it'd be nice to have. They have 1 million shares, which is like, what, how much money? $130 million, so not much. Okay, we can, we, we can merge with this company. They're up for that. They've got two brands. They've got a, an Italian brand, and they've got their Chinese brand. Hung Gang. Hung, Hung Jang? I don't know. We'll buy a portion of them, 10%. Because we can. We can actually buy more of our own company. We'll buy that. So now if we actually merge the Hong Kong gang, it's 44%. We don't want to do that because we want over... If we maintain under 50% of our company, then basically what's going to happen is we're going to get fired because the computer thinks we're mismanaging the company. Which we are, but that that's besides the point. Okay, yeah. No, we're not making nearly enough cars. Let's go to district sales so we can see the full extent of the damage here. Um, now we are actually short 150,000 cars, which is not great. Um, but sales are on the up and up. Yeah, these new cars are selling like hotcakes. Now, the, one of the problems is we don't really have the capital to inject into new plants and stuff. So we could probably sell them for more. I want to acquire more of this company, though. That's, that's an important thing. Um... We can also purchase shares of our company for a bit more. Let's slowly keep reacquiring some shares. Now, where are we, you know, where do we need more factories the most? What's the most important part? Where's the most important district? So if we see here, North America, we are short by a lot of cars. Uh, Europe and Asia, actually, Asia is not bad, but North America is, is the big one. So let's start and reinvigorate our Mexican factories. Let's go for like a 50 size factory, 50 lines, around 50 lines gonna be done at the end of 1982 oh my god that's gonna be a long time well, that's not good let's go ahead like we produce a lot of cars in canada not really a ton in the states and the states obviously is where we sell more cars so we can upgrade the new york one for 1.3 billion we can redesign it though for less than that obviously let's go to 45 and that'll be done by 80 so we've done a few months the factories i think they just opened so let's sim one more month um, are our bond payments due? 
What do they do? Um, are our bond payments paid in the 11th month? Okay, they're not yet. Okay, so let's repay one bond so that way we don't have to actually make one extra payment. So we should still have uh, about a billion dollars left, 1.2 billion. And I think we should be a higher, we should be producing more cars next month. So let's go ahead because I want to save the 80 billion there, or the 80 million there. Um, sorry, because if we didn't pay, if we didn't pay it off, we'd have more money overall, but we pay an extra 80 million for nothing. Because we can afford to repay that bond right now, and I think we'll be okay. Loss of only 230 million. Um, it'll be about 400 million. Um, with the other bond payment, take away how much extra revenue we're getting from cars. So maybe that might offset it. We'll see. For 360 million, that's that's not bad. That's that's better. We're producing now only short 130 thousand cars. We're producing like 30 thousand more cars a month. We fast forward a few months, and wow, the Rebel is selling really well, even though it's a lot more expensive than the previous generation. So we've just finished the factory. We've got a new factory in London soon. I don't think we'll need to actually take out... I, a, I like how my name is Mr. Rye. I don't think we'll need to take out anything too terrible. We are losing money in our pension fund, I think, slowly but surely, so that's not good. Uh, let's see if we can actually acquire more of this company. Ooh, wow, they have actually tanked in stock price. We can acquire them for a billion dollars. We can actually acquire Hungang and their little brand as Saladini. As Saladini? Sure. So there's still a car shortage. We've got the new factory that opened up. We've lost a bit of money. Not as much as a bit last year. Um, let's just check out this other subsidiary that we could buy here. They've got in value. Now it's going to cost 1.1 or 1.2 billion, which is okay. So revenue's climbing, which is good. Um, let's do two more months. And we'll see how all of our factories are doing once they're all fully producing. We've got money in the bank. I think we'll start to put that towards our pension fund because if we don't, we are going to get some serious problems later on and I don't want to deal with that later on. That just seems like a terrible thing to deal with. Our pension fund is quite low. Um, like Ideally, towards the end of the game, I shoot for like a trillion dollar pension fund, which is obscene, obviously. Um, but like the more you put in there, the more it snowballs. And at a certain point, money doesn't really matter because you've got so much of it and you can make so much. Like The bigger you get, the faster it is to make money. We lost half a billion, which is not great, but we should make it up this year. It's been it's been about a year. It's been about like it's been it's been a little bit. It's been like you know months. Um, and we are short even more cars. We are short half a million cars now. So from 170 thousand or two no from 250 thousand to 500, it's doubled. It's doubled. It's absolutely obscene. Uh, we're producing a lot of cars. We are short so much cars. Um, everywhere actually, absolutely everywhere. Um, which is cr crazy. Uh, so I'm not even sure, honestly, what, what to make of it at this point. We're, we're just con continually short cars. Um, we can raise more bonds to, to, you know, to upgrade these factories and stuff, but we've got a bond to pay off in 88. So we got seven years to pay off a bond. I honestly don't think we're going to build a new generation of cars for a little bit. Like, the Blackwood cars are still doing quite good. There's, there's a shortage of cars. Um, we can go ahead and increase the price even. Let's upgrade this to, what, 7,000? Let's let's just upgrade all the prices again. Nine thousand. This would be twelve thousand, sure. Luxury sedan, fourteen thousand. And our sales have increased from like one point nine million cars a year to three point three, and we're actually profitable for like the first time uh, in in a while. If we go to yearly profits and losses, this is our first profit uh, since what? Since nineteen seventy three, so almost a decade. Our first actual profit uh, was this a profit? That was a loss. Okay, so our first actual profit, um, and and we aren't even expanding. I mean, when we are expanding, I mean, like, and we're spending a lot of money towards expansion. Let's go back to profits and losses. Revenues yearly have increased um, since I started, from about what, sixteen billion to twenty-five billion dollars a year, which is quite good. Um, and our brands are doing okay. You know, uh, Al Saladini, Al Salad, Al Saladini. I, I I hate the brand. I'll probably sell them at some point. Um, is doing quite good. We're going to turn that brand around into a good brand, I think. I think. So, Taipei. Let's actually upgrade the Taipei factory. It's cheaper. I mean, we're not... Like, the cars aren't actually as relative. Like, it doesn't matter if we really produce cars there. Let's upgrade the Soul factory as well. But it's better than not producing any more cars. So, Burnt All. If we acquired shares of Burnt All, which we can slowly acquire more, we probably shouldn't have bought when they increased by 30%, but we'll buy it anyways. And we're slowly going to try to acquire another brand. Or merge. Like, that'd be pretty cool. If we can merge with another brand, that'd be pretty darn cool. They've got actually way more factories. Let's save it again. 
And I think uh, next next episode at the start, we are going to start working on the new engines and stuff. Uh, let's actually, can we get rid of all these bad ones? No? Okay. So next ne next episode, which will come up, you know, in a month or so probably, uh, we're going to work on more Starfire engines, making the new, new generation of Starfire engines. And it's the 80s, we might go turbo. But the current Starfire engines, they're all naturally aspirated. We do have one dual overhead cam V8, but you know, they're all like overhead cam naturally aspirated, overhead valve. Um, and I mean, five, 600 horsepower from a naturally aspirated V8, which is pretty obscene. I think we're going to go for a higher fuel economy because that thing only gets 8.1 MPG from that fuel economy. Um, compared to like our biggest uh, Eco Sport engine, it's 12. Okay, that's actually not terrible. We've got the four top selling cars, but like these cars sell crazy well. The Rebel is selling so well. It's definitely worth it to replace it with that. We're going to finish off here. Um, thanks for hanging out, guys. If you guys want to talk about Gear City, I'm always down to play some more Gear City. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to the channel members, though. Thanks to Ruben, DD Man, Chalice Sin um, for being uh, channel members, for being um, either Quad Turbo or Big Boy Turbo members. Thanks to all the Twin Turbo members like Josh, thanks for being a twin turbo member, and thanks to everyone else for being members as well. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate you guys. You guys are great. Uh, join my Discord link in the description below. I'm sorry we probably can compact a lot into this one video, um, but it's just so fun, all right? It's so fun, and I want to keep the videos kind of short because it's it can be boring sometimes. I know. It's a lot more fun to play. Thanks, guys, for watching, and of course, as always, I'll see you next time.